This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. Texas A&M chancellors were shocked when one of their own pulled a knife during a meeting. Texas A&M System Deputy Chancellor Jay Kimborough was fired from the A&M system on Wednesday and then pulled out a pocket knife in the presence of two system lawyers. Kimborough said he was just being cynical and comical, and his intent was misinterpreted. As of late Wednesday, police were investigating the incident. According to the University Police Department, Kimborough was fired after his position was eliminated by the new head of administration. From Falls City, Texas, the Associated Press reports, authorities say an explosion at the Carnes County oil well injured two people who were airlifted to a San Antonio hospital with severe burns. A Texas Department of Public Safety spokesman says the oil well is managed by Houston-based Merrill Energy. Falls City is located about 45 miles southeast of San Antonio. It looks as if the last Texas death row inmate executed Wednesday ruined it for those to follow. He did not finish his meal. The Houston Chronicle reports that the next death row inmate headed to their execution will no longer be able to pick what they'd like for their last meal. Brad Livingston, executive director of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, issued this statement in response to concerns from Texas Senate Criminal Justice Committee Chairman John Whitmore. I believe Senator Whitmore's concerns regarding the practice of allowing death row offenders to choose their last meal are valid. Effective immediately, no such accommodations will be made. They will receive the same meal served to other offenders on the unit. In a Thursday letter to Brad Livingston, executive director of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, says he's long been concerned about the practice and that the last straw was the Houston Chronicles report of Lawrence Russell Brewer ordering a huge last meal that he failed to eat. Tickets go on sale at noon today for a concert to benefit people displaced by the Bastrop County wildfires that blackened more than 34,000 acres and destroyed almost 1,600 homes. The bill of performers is a who's who of Lone Star music legends. Willie Nelson, Lyle Lovett, the Dixie Chicks, Asleep at the Wheel, Sean Colvin, Steve Miller, the Texas Tornadoes, and others. Fire Relief, the concert for Central Texas, takes place at 7 p.m. on October 17th at the Frank Irwin Center at the University of Texas at Austin. Tickets range from $25 to $250. There will be a silent auction at the concert with items autographed by the artist. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.